right? So this number 16 is really about as hard as it's gonna get um, on these types of problems. So let's go through and label what each constant or, or negative sign does to the, the problem. So a negative in front of the function, we know is gonna reflect over the x-axis. So reflect across the x-axis. And we're gonna follow the reflect, stretch or shrink, and translate in rear alphabet RST. So I'm just gonna do that over here. So any point on the x-axis stays, this one that's below will come above. This one that's below will come above. This will stay. This one that's above will go below and this one that's on it will stay. So here is our reflection across the x-axis. Boy, got some shaky hands here. Let me try to do this with um, an actual, there we go, that looks way better. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna have to take care of the stretches or shrinks. So the number that's multiplying by the front, this one half, okay, that is what's going to stretch or shrink it. So because it's in front and it's not inside, it is going to affect it vertically. Remember, everything inside you guys is horizontal. So this is on the outside, so it's gonna be vertical and the vertical tells the truth. So you would think that multiplying by a half would make it smaller and it will. So this is going to shrink it, okay? So we're gonna take all of, <clears throat> Visually, you're just taking all of these values and making them half the size. So like I could come in here and kind of ask, this dot's gonna stay, this dot's here, this dot's here, this one stays. So I have this shorter little trapezoid that looks half the size. This, this uh, dot that's two down will only be one down and then zero stays. So I have this like triangle that's half the size of the red triangle basically, okay? Now, if you want to get the actual ordered pairs, you could do that, but I think it's gonna be kind of hard on this one because um, they're like not at nice spots. So that's why I didn't take that approach. I just took the, hey, let's just make it look half the size. Let's shrink it down. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do is we are going to move everything according to the, whatever that minus one and that plus three say to do, okay? And at this point, it's getting a little crowded on this graph over here. So I am gonna try to transfer it. Um, let me just see, I think they're counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, and they are counting by twos. Okay, so this one's gonna be at negative two. There's one at zero. And then there's one at two, probably three. Okay, and so this dot is at two, negative two. Oh, I lied, it's not at three, you guys. This is why I didn't want to do the ordered pairs. I was like, these are not good. Okay, so two, four, five is where it is. And then this blue, this green dot here is at two, negative two. Okay, so there's ooh, me trying to do the triangle bit. Okay. And then I need to do the trapezoid, which that's not at all clear. Um, I'm just going to kind of estimate it because it doesn't even look like it's halfway, you guys. So here's me just kind of estimating where it is. I know it's one high because um, each square is worth two, right? So if these red dots were too high, then these green dots have to be one high because we said it's half as high, right? So I know at least it goes through one. I just can't tell the X coordinate of them. And I think this is good enough because we're just going to have to pick the picture out of the lineup. All right, so this one is the horizontal because it's inside and it lies. So instead of to the left one, we're going to go right one. And then this one here on the back end is vertical and it tells the truth. So plus three really is going to be at three. So we're going to go right one up three with each one of these dots. So right one up three, right one up three, right one, up three. At least we have our triangle part, right? Okay. And then right one, up three, right one, up three, and right one, up 
I feel like I didn't go. Why do I want to do it if I want to? Okay. All right. Sorry it's so sloppy, you guys. I just don't have a steady hand when it comes to drawing these lines straight. Oh my, I tried to make it better and I think I made it even worse, huh? All right. So we got to go find this out of a lineup. So I'm not too worried. But that's our final answer, this blue one, right? That's going to be our G of X. All right. So we're looking for one that goes through like three, one right here. Let's go see if we can find that. Okay, these two are for sure out. They're not even the right shape. These guys are looking pretty good. I, I think it's gotta be D because this one's too low. That dot that I pointed out to you guys, I said it has to go through three, one. Well, this one's below the X axis. So there's no way it could be three, one. So it's gotta be D on this one. Awesome. All right. So I know I wasn't, it was hard because of how they were numbered here, but we don't have to be super specific. We just have to be close. And I, I think we did a good job on that. All right, you guys, hopefully this helps you with your number 16, which is a pretty tough one to have every single transformation you could possibly have pretty much going on with it. So good luck.